So this is in quite close up the um, the fish tank, one of the second fish tank of mine, not the main one. But this is the idea just to show you it's got some pretty thick asphalus in the area and uh, there's been a breeding going on and as a result you'll see in a moment as I bring it down here a lot a lot this time of babies and there you see that quite a few of them are albinos this is a, a lemon tetra just up there that doesn't seem to have affected it at all with the number of young so quite a few of them are albinos I'm, I'm not really able to give you this scan. This was one of the ones I think because it's a slightly bigger now, the one in the middle there. That's the one that was from the old ancestress male who had one lot and then that was about all, all he could do and he unfortunately died. But he's got some, but only a, a minority. Most of these are now smaller. They're from the second drop. And the second drop was done by another male or with another male, this was dropped by a female of the eggs, but uh, the male concerned is quite a remarkable fish. It's, I'll show you. It's over here. kind of reddy brown colour he's got a different layout and so I don't think it's Ancestrus dolicopterus um, it could be Ancestrus to Minky I'm not sure but anyway uh, these are hybrids these babies because that male isn't quite the same species um, whereas these females can see my hair to you that was a male that was a so there is a female She's bigger in here. That's not showing herself at the moment. Uh, and that female is responsible for. There's a female Dolicopterus, but the male's not a Dolicopterus, Ancestrus Dolicopterus. So these are these are these are hybrids. So they're going to come out looking quite interesting. I would say. Um. But the interesting thing about the male is this, this, um, this coconut you see here, I'm getting a bit of glare coming back the other way around, but you can see this, this big coconut, yeah, this coconut, it was, I'm getting some reflection, but you can see the coconut, it has an entry now, you see the one that you don't want to film is always coming and getting in the way, but that's a, that's a, that's a male dolicopterus, but this is not responsible for anything. There's a little female, but these are not sexually mature fish. When I put them in there, they were about the size of a larger um, fry. That they're not these small fry, smaller fry. But it's interesting. About a quarter of them coming out albino. Let's see if I can get a nice view of that's obviously the undersides but you see how many there are now yeah there's a lot of them have come out albino but a lot of them have come out standard colors and with that stripe at the base of the tail so unusual i would say not unusual to breed ancestrous but maybe 
this way of doing it slightly more unusual. If you want to breed ancestors, what you definitely have to have, obviously the coconut is useful, but what you really need is a, is a cat on top of the tank. No, I'm only joking about a cat on the tank. Um, by the way, this is a useful thing for, for fry events. It's just although it seems to be lots of snails in it now. Snails don't appear to be in the way of this process at all. I was worried at the beginning that they, they were going to with that first lot. But as you can see from the abundance of these, that the snails have had nothing to do with it. Um, but this... This, if I, if I pull it back, you can perhaps see better the, uh, that here, this here is a coconut. And the entrance, which is carved into a coconut, you can't see. Um, it used to be facing me, and also this architecture, um, this business here, this, this, this architecture here, in the, where it's all been dug around, this was done by that male non dolicopterous ancestress. The other one did no such thing. and was quite happy with the way that I placed the, the, um, the coconut. Whereas this one has done three things. He's dug this all up so as to make that wave there and exactly the way that he wanted the gravel. Second thing is he physically moved around the entrance to the coconut so it's pointing in from the other side. And the third thing is he moved that... Um, plastic pot with the plant in it across to half block the entrance. Now, that's the sort of thing that I don't expect normally the intelligence of your average freshwater catfish uh, to 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 show. Yeah, but um, and certainly the other the original male Dolicopterus wasn't doing anything like that. But clearly this one, this one did it. Basically did it. Yeah. So um, maybe I'll try and get a, a good a good look at the at this one, so you can try and see if anyone's good at identification. Ow! That's, you got on the back of me with your claws. That's a cat, by the way, that did that. Not not a fish. Um, so there we are. If anyone knows what kind that is, if it's a teminki or. Or maybe in something else. You see it's slightly reddish. With an interesting belt by the base of the tail. And it's higher backed um, than the Dolicopterus. No, none of the sort of like grey blue coloration at all. Different kinds of patches. And I suppose that if we look really carefully at the... I don't know if we can get it to focus on it nicely or not. You know, that was, it's trying to focus, isn't it? On the head area. Yeah, you're very well aware that you're being filmed. Just to look and see, those bristles seem to be closer together than on the Dolicopter. So, if anybody knows what kind, of, what the subspecies or species of it is, by all means tell me. Now, I've got this big problem. I've got this cat on me, and I don't know how you're going to get off. You're going to. Okay. Whew. Sphinxes have quite sharp claws, so I've probably got a back cut to ribbons. These are the things that David Attenborough doesn't have to put up with, you see. He's got his team to sort it out for him. Just gets the occasional belt on the head by a gorilla, but uh, doesn't. I'm sure he doesn't have a bleeding back half the time. Not sure what happened uh, during the... Greater Thunberg interview, I mean we didn't see that bit, probably off camera. <laughs>